As we all know, VAT is a tax you pay locally. You pay in every nation. And the ultimate taxpayer is the consumer. So VAT is no more neutral on business to business transaction. So what happens if you sell it abroad? So what happens if from Italy you sell something to Germany? Now, if you sell it to a business, then you do not charge any VAT. This is a zero rated supply. And the purchaser, so your client, will then have to reverse charge VAT. So this is an accounting procedure to account for VAT, but making it neutral into your register. But what happens if you sell it B2C? So what happens if somebody orders something from you and is located in a different country? Now, back in the days, this was not very big. However, with big online e-commerce platforms, that has become very normal. So the EU decided to regulate that. So basically, every country has a threshold. This threshold means that upon reaching that, you can sell it to the home, to the foreign country and charge your home country VAT. So if as an Italian, I sell an item to a French client, to a French customer, well, he or she has to pay 22% tax on that, basically making that irrelevant from my side. However, it might make a huge difference if there's a difference in the VAT rate. So if you're brilliant, you just incorporate in a country in Europe that has a very low rate and sell to foreign countries. So you can use your home rate in the foreign country. And that's a distortion of competition because I could register, for instance, in, I don't know, Luxembourg, and they have certain zero rated supply and sell it to Italy, saving 22% tax. So I'm far more competitive than the local Italian supplier. However, upon reaching a certain threshold, the VAT rule says that you must register for VAT locally, the so-called VAT direct registration, get a local VAT number, use that to charge a local supplier and adopt the local VAT rates. So in the case of our Luxembourg company, whenever they reach 30,000 euros of taxable supplies in any given tax year or in the first tax year, they're required to first get an Italian VAT number and the procedure takes some time because it has to be done on paper, then charge 22% VAT, pay that VAT to Italy, file the quarterly return and file the annual VAT return. However, they are not established for income tax purposes in Italy, which means they are not required to pay any income tax on that. So basically this system avoid any treaty abuse and any advantage, comparative advantage of any country. Or if you think about that, especially in the case of Finland, that you're not required to register for VAT upon reaching 85,000 taxable supplies in one given year. So the system is trying to harmonize VAT and to avoid the um, localization of any business in VAT advantages jurisdiction. But a total different system is for online e-services, which is called MOSS, M-O-S-S, and we'll talk about that in a different video.